what caught my attention was all these flowers look like they were you know from plants in this uh, little waterway here but what I feel it is coming from that bush either they blew in by wind or kids were picking them and throwing them in here anyway where I'm at I'm gonna step over here I'm in uh, Oregon and I'm at the uh, Bonneville, Bonneville Fish Hatchery and Sturgeon Center. And I'm gonna walk around and show you some sights. Kind of a big map of the area. You can uh, do the doggy bags get some fishing or some hatchery guides pretty cool I don't know what this is it's just a pedestal it has these uh, neat little ornament ornament shapes and stuff like this it's probably a some some form of a compass it says right there but I, I don't know what it says it's in writing this is that waterway I was showing you the flowers it's gonna be other spots where I can see fish to show you I actually came over this way to show you this bamboo. Pretty tall stuff. Looks like they cut the tops off. I just want to put my hand around one of them. Somebody carved their name into it. Pretty big bamboo. I like these. Here's bigger ones. That's neat. I don't see them this big where I live. Tiny guys. Pens and pens of them. Got the netting to keep the birds from eating them. I see people threw pennies down in here. You'll find that in a fi the fish hatchery. Uh, probably more coin with the fish than here. Pretty neat. They weren't whistling Dixie. Hmm. Frozen time. I think they need to do a little cleaning on these. I'm going to read it. Lewis and Clark camped on the Bonneville grounds April 9th, 1806. Again, here's another one I can't read. This one here shows Native Americans on a canoe or they're oaring I'm not sure just reading 1864 is this one EJW Anderson uh, support of hatchery WH Elliott something about construction Site of selected 1909 by Henry, anyway, U.S. Commer. If you can read that, good luck.
These are tiny guys. Bunches of them. Oh, you're supposed to put your hand out. I suppose it would be good to read. I put half the food on the ground here. I'll pick it up. Well, here they are. <laughs> These are some big ones. Nice rainbow trout. Can you see that? These are like uh, upwards of 15 pounds. Wow, look how fast they go after it. Yeah. Pretty cool. We're <laughs> gonna get some right here. And then I'm gonna go way out there. I'm gonna throw all these, what I have left, way out there. Have them go after them. See, some need to be fed out there when the rest here are right upon them. Looks like there could be, uh, oh, close to 200 in here. I'm gonna video a little different angle here to see if we can see them better without the glare of the sunlight. So I'll just kind of walk along here. If I didn't say it already, these are rainbow trout. Signs across the way over there. They're just happy to be in here. You get ones close to here. Laid on its side. If you didn't notice all the shimmering and glimmering, there's a whole lot of coin in here. Lots of money. <laughs> Wonder how often they clean this out. It's everywhere. In fact, I see Canadian currency there with the, uh, the brass in the middle and the silver on the outer edges. See what we see up here. It says white sturgeon. I see one already. I don't know how shy these guys are. It's right there. There's some rainbow trout in here too. See how well you can see them. There's two right there going by. That's a big one. There's two more. Here's one right here. I'm going to get really close to him. I'm, in, I'm within a foot from him. Now he's gone about two feet deeper because I'm right there. It's neat that you can come and get this close to these fish. I'd say just by what I'm finding up here by the water, there's upwards of 15 sturgeon in here. Let's get a different angle here if the sunlight is causing glare, at least you can see them maybe. This is a little different. You can go off these little areas here and look down on the sturgeon. See if I can see any up here. No, nothing up here. So we'll go down lower. Now well, there's a mallard duck over there. Oh, there's a bunch of sturgeon in here. And by the way, these sturgeon here, <laughs> these are the big daddies. There's one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight or more sturgeon in here, and we are going to see if we can go down anyway and see them really close. You just follow a trail here. I 
and we're gonna go downstairs sub level get a good look at these sturgeon oh look at that there's one peeking big boys <laughs> yeah and some big ones there there's got to be a couple of them here that are 12 feet or more long these guys have lived here for a long time and I'm sure uh, they've had millions of pictures taken of them there's a better look here's your typical rainbow trout I'm literally five inches from its body <laughs> kind of neat anyway if you get a chance to come down along the Columbia River Gorge going east of Portland on Interstate 84 you will find this hatchery open to the public you can come down and visit and do a lot of looking yourself if you can't I hope this video helped you out some of it will have glare where you can't see it that's okay I'm trying to get the best I can it's pretty early in the morning I'm on my way back home from a road trip last year I tried to do this and the COVID of course had this place still shut down all right if you liked what I did here please press like if you want to see more hit the notification bell and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel I'm asking that you subscribe it'll go a long ways to help me make more videos and I'm gonna peek over here and once again thank you for watching let him swim by it's probably anywhere around eight feet area <laughs>